Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report brought to you in association with ASB. Today I want to talk about the looming bursting of a bubble in the dairy farming sector. And when that bubble bursts, it will be quite a bit tougher than the one we're seeing in the housing sector right now. Why is that? Because dairy farm prices are actually more volatile than house prices. They fell quite substantially in the mid-80s when New Zealand farming was deregulated and again in the mid-90s when the New Zealand dollar went, went to record highs. Many farm buyers these days are highly leveraged, they have a lot of debt and they bought their neighbours' farms or they've converted other farms into dairying. So what's happening with dairy commodity prices? Well they have halved from their peaks last year and the last couple of weeks they have frankly collapsed. We are now looking at a payout closer to $5 than the $6 Fonterra is forecasting. And that's down from over $7.60 last season, a big drop in incomes. And the New Zealand dollar has blipped back up again from a low of 52 cents to 60 cents. So things are looking bad for the dairy payout for farmers and that will put them under a lot of pressure, particularly those with high debts. So why are banks still lending hand over fist to farmers? Now banks slowed their lending growth to housing towards the end of last year, but they really ramped up their lending to dairying. And currently, according to the latest figures, it's still growing at more than 20%. This prompted a warning from the Reserve Bank in its financial stability report back in November that dairy farmers and banks needed to be very careful before they loaded themselves up with more debt. Treasury also warned about this in its most recent economic outlook. So the regulators and the markets really are telling the banks to slow some of that lending growth into the farming sector. Farming investors too should be careful about heavily gearing themselves up to get into more dairy land because prices for commodities are slumping and it's going to be a tough time for the dairy sector next year. Meanwhile though, PGG Rights and Finance came out today and said it was looking to get further into dairy lending and into lending into the farming sector overall. One to watch. There really is a risk of a bubble bursting in the dairy sector. What will happen when that happens? Well, coastal property, particularly in the North Island, and provincial property in New Zealand, we're talking Hamilton, Waikato, New Plymouth, down on the South Island, South Canterbury, Southland, those areas will be hit hard. New car dealers in these areas will also struggle. And we may see house prices in some of these provincial areas drop because in the last three to four years they've been bolstered by dairy farmers retiring or buying second houses on the coast or in provincial towns. So there we have it. Just a quick warning, one echoed for, by the Reserve Bank and Treasury to dairy farmers and to banks about heavy lending into the dairy sector. It is a bubble that is at risk of bursting through 2009. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special economic weather report brought to you in association with ASB.